I want to get a, a view now from a Democrat here, uh, Bernie Sanders supporter, Tezan Figaro, joining us right now. Um, Tezan, I mean, much has been made of the role of uh, the Russians in the election. Do you think that they, they changed the, the outcome of the election? Well, you know, I won't say they changed the outcome of the election, but what was found uh, was exposing the truth. And I do want to make one quick co uh, correction. I am not a Democrat by no stretch of the imagination. I did work for a Democrat, but I am an independent and a okay. fiscal capitalist through and through. All right, so I apologize. I but you, so you were, but you were a, <laughs> no a, a, a Sanders staffer. Is that accurate? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I was a Sanders staffer because he talked about the establishment. He talked about taking the establishment down, and unfortunately, uh, with him lining up with Hillary Clinton after, uh, there were many people like myself who were disappointed, and a lot of that came from what we saw from the DNC leaks. So instead of talking about Russia did it, blaming Russia, blaming uh, what was found, I want to know if Senator Bernie Sanders is going to call for an investigation on what we actually found and how he was thrown under the bus uh, with the information that was leaked. Do you think that, the, as you say, not a Democrat, you did support Sanders. Many argue that he could have done better against a Donald Trump. We'll never know. Uh, but that there's frustration within the Democratic Party to own up to its mistakes and blame everything and everyone else but the candidate and maybe the message. Uh, are you in that frustrated camp that Democrats still haven't done enough soul searching on this election? Absolutely. I mean, it's no question about it. I was a lifelong Democrat. I left in 2012 hmm. uh, because the Democrats just refused to get it. Uh, they refused to have a true conversation, even looking at uh, Keith Ellison, who is running uh, to run the party. I want to know if he is going to actually hold them accountable to drain the Democrat swamp, or is he just going to continue to blame Trump for everything? It seems that they still don't get it, Neil. They're still refusing, um, you know, to deal with the issues at hand, which is the bottom line is you lost. You got beat like a drum. You did not listen to the working class, you certainly did not address the poor, you ran around with the same old song, the same old message, and it just didn't work. People didn't like Hillary Clinton in 2008, they didn't like her uh, then, and they don't like her now. So whether we want to talk about the popular vote or not, that candidate was forced upon the American people. They did not allow uh, candidates to be vetted, like Donald Trump, who won um, against 16 candidates. So if they continue to do the same thing over and over and over and pick and choose who they want to support, they'll be getting the same results over and over. These seats have been lost over the last eight years. This is not uh, Donald Trump's uh, fault. It's not his responsibility. They have lost these seats based upon the fact that they want to do more of the same, have fish dinners uh, and cookouts to get votes instead of addressing the people and putting people actually to work. Good stuff all. Teslin, thank you very, very much. Hope you have a Merry thank Christmas. You. I appreciate it. You too. Thank you.